So today we're going to talk about perspective. Specifically, we're going to talk about how do you go from lamenting what you've lost to appreciating what you have. Have you ever been in a situation where no fault of your own, but you tried to achieve a certain goal or a vision, but it was met with constant rejection or discouragement? So I'd like to share with you my story that happened many years ago. I had two dreams. One was to start a family, and the other one was to get a book that I was writing, God is My CEO, published. However, those two dreams quickly became a series of many defeats and discouragements where months turned into years and it became very discouraging for both me and my wife. However, things came to a head in November of 1998 where finally two things positive happened. Uh, my wife got pregnant again and my agent was able to find three publishers in New York City that were open to hearing me pitch this book. So I worked a trip to New York City to make this pitch happen, and the bottom line is it was one, two, three strikes you're out. All three rejected me, and I came back from New York City, and I was completely discouraged and felt rejected. However, I was comforted by the fact that my wife was pregnant, and so I came back with that hope. Well, it wasn't yet two weeks later when uh, my wife had her second miscarriage, and that was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I was so discouraged and I was angry at the Lord. And I remember this one time, this one night where I was just, I was like in an adult tantrum and literally yelled at the Lord, why is this happening? And was so frustrated. Literally, I, I was spent and I just, like a child, literally went to a heap, totally exhausted. So two days later, completely wiped out, I'm at my, uh, favorite coffee house in Minneapolis and I'm sitting there at this table and I've got my journal in front of me and I'm opening it up and and literally I'm just staring at a white piece of paper I have nothing to show I have no goals to achieve no vision to think of it's just a white piece of paper so I remember writing this letter to the Lord on this white piece of paper I wrote Dear Lord, as of this moment, my future is a white canvas. I'm totally available in the present. I'm not sure where I'm going, but I'm absolutely sure of my foundation. Today, I'm thankful for what I have. And then what I did is I just literally, I'm staring at this white piece of paper and I asked myself, well, what do I have? I mean, I had a foundation in my Lord Jesus Christ. On the next rung, I had love, peace, and joy. I had my wife family and friends, health, financial security. I actually had a lot of things to be grateful for. So long story short, two years later, both I was able to get God is My CEO published and that opened the door for me to write several other books. And my wife gave birth to our first child. So I'll leave you with this. Three years later, I'm outside at night with my daughter and we're up looking for the stars and unfortunately it was a cloudy night and so my daughter said daddy there's no stars in the sky and I told her there are stars in the sky we just can't see them through the clouds so I want to leave you with the same encouragement you may not see your vision right now or see the fruits of your labor but that doesn't mean that your goals and your vision are not there it's just it's there and it will come in time so I'll leave you with this one scripture in 2 Corinthians 4.18 where it says, We fix our eyes not what is seen, but what is the unseen. And so I just urge you to keep on keeping on and just trust in the Lord.